what is your feeling about Operation Tudula when you compare the, the xenophobic uh, sentiment in Africa? I wanted to understand Operation Tudula. Hence, I'm saying I'm not going to give them a time unnecessarily because i never been part of Tudula. But I can speak on behalf of our organization, Tswane Parliament, maybe the Soweto Parliament, on issues of foreign nationals. In South Africa, we've got a supreme law of the land, which is the constitution. They flawed it. That you cannot go to their countries and operate illegal spaza shops or any type of business, prostitution, drugs, and all this. You cannot do it. In South Africa, they are doing it because they, they, are, they have been protected by politicians. I mean, look at the Demotswa lady, for argument's sake. That old man is trying. He's trying to deport these people. But Helen Sussman Foundation is on his case. You ask yourself, what, do, what is in it for them? Then, you know, there are parties that protect this undocumented. I don't have a problem with documented foreigners at all. If we talk about document and do you don't like documented one, then I've got a problem with you as an African, hating one African person because of you, call, you just want to call them Batumakwere Kwere. And most of those people who are calling people Makwere Kwere, if you track back their origins, that they call Kukwai, also Zimbabwe. You look at the history, but about all of us. But about the school. All of us. The problem people are when they are school, but only that Engan and Babang. They want to do Dula. Not, I'm not talking about Operation to Dula because there are others movements who buy some similar things like the Dula. They do just, just do Dula. Somebody just wake up with anger and said, "Let's go into Dula." This person, they are extorting. They are stealing. To us, they are lying to us. These things they are doing are scammy because they've been saying we are going to do Dula this person. But these people are, are multiplying. One, they are dating our sisters, those foreigners. So this is going to divide the communities because we need to conscientize our own sisters first about these people. During the, in the evening, if you can ask these e hailing drivers where they are transporting our sisters, you will be shocked. They are dating these people. Number two, the very same other civics, they will go during their meetings and extort money from these foreign-owned shops to say, yeah, we are operating in our townships, give us money, that's a condition, and we will, pro we will protect you. And the police are extorting, you know, the worst part now. The TMPD, Metro Police and Police, are extorting from these people. So hands What's up, wrong when our, when our sisters date foreign nationals? I don't have a problem if they can date them. But the problem is that they are dating this undocumented. Then when we start to say these people are illegal in our country, then they take it very personal because they're dating them. For them, they're getting money. So it's like, and now it becomes so difficult to deal with this issue because their pockets, and that is being selfish. We are so our, our sisters are dating foreign nationals not for love, but for money. For money, for the love of money. Why on a lady this new thing here, the slay queen? And Bob Power, Bob Power, this women, uh, the organization, they're not saying anything. They're tight lipped about this issue. Government is not saying about, about this prostitution. They want to legalize it. They want to sugarcoat issues when it comes to this issue of prostitution linked to slay queen phenomenon, which is killing our own sisters. They're busy transferring evil spirits, but they are the these people in exchange of bad spirits. Asega badi le senyama, more our sisters, because of they go over kuku na velo seri ten thousand lidi iPhone, but basa la lidi nyama o wana kaba na baba kesi swe. We've got a cast generation because of the love of money. That's the biggest problem. Money is the is not an evil. The evil is the love for money. Even the Bible says that. Offspring of undocumented people and South African women bears. Uh, bad luck kids. Yes. If the if the father is not is documented, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Then we clear. Okay. We are not against a documented foreigner because some said to me, yeah, no. As long as it's a foreigner, we don't want them. I said, guys, we've got CAF, we've got moments A, the president, we've got Bupitsu Bagua, we've got foreign nationals who are playing soccer here. Who are, who, are, who are here legally because there is an immigration act that says if a foreigner comes and invests more than five million, he's allowed to trade or 
to run a business in that country, not only in South Africa. We've got rules, we've got laws. Hence I'm saying, people are just making noise. That's Chacha Rahmut, when you go popular because rasa. he just wants to make noise and create chaos. And the very same people, majority of them, but it's a, a wrong thing. They pretend as if they do do like these people. They will take people and make noise. Following day, they will go and extort money from that similar person. Why are these people still in our country? So we don't want undocumented. We don't want illegal foreigners. Look at what they are doing running these puzzle shops that are selling fake expired food stuff. They are illegal. You cannot do it. As a South African, if I were to open a spaza today, you will see Metropolis coming at the bylaws. CIPS will be telling me that now your certificate has expired, we are deregistering you. There are a lot of red tapes. Banks cannot borrow me money. But these people are running successful business. Even during COVID, their businesses were flourishing and there's a question mark. Exactly what are they selling in those shops? And why cops are not closing these shops? Why are they extorting from them? If you can go during the day, Pretoria West Guy Guy, you see police eating the mahal. Baba Fadi Jota Mahal. So who are you to go there and say, Koba Dudul? They've extended their ZEP to 2025. They're here to stay. They're here to stay because by Rilebanabo, they're going to be naturalized. This problem is going to be with us for another four decades or 20 decades because our country is on autopilot. We don't have a government that is responsible because I don't really believe somebody can tell me I'm once a one politician, Argy leader. Leaders are born, not produced by experience. You'll hear people saying, yeah, let's vote for this leader, more political party, on an experience, more government thing. What experience? Go to Zondo. That is, that is an experience. They are stealing. So you need to steal and have that experience to be called a citizen politicians. Hence we said we are flooded with hustlers, with no vision, with no content, with no morals. They don't have morals. How do you allow undocumented foreigner to sell expired food stuff for such a long time? I'm also blaming us, South Africans. Double 80s, we used to have something called consumer boycott. We would boycott shops. I just started to get these people. But today, we don't do it because our sisters are benefiting. Some civic are benefiting. Some so-called community leaders are... You know, we've got mushroom of leaders. Somebody doesn't have constituents. We it says the one. We call civic leaders or movements, what the other one? He's always alone. Then you ask yourself, who is this chap or this lady leading? Because they're misleading, actually. We've got people who are misleading us. They don't have content. If you speak to this person, that's why I said, I don't want to talk about Operation Dudula. It's a movement I respect other leaders. I cannot go to media and talk ill of other leaders. I'm very much principled. That what I'm doing, or if I can do that, somebody can do it to me too. That's why I don't laugh at other leader, Khan Al Matata. I just listen. What is it that Baba is solam? Because we need to self-correct as sort of evidence. Me and you. We allow things to happen just under our nose. There's a spaza shop somewhere here. You support the spaza shop, but you complain, hey, these people must go. But we are busy buying from them. Why are you, are you not boycotting those people? And if you again check, you go through this issue at foreign spaza shops, there is an element of a force from white monopoly capital. They are running malls. They are the ones who started to kill township businesses. We are happy that they are now. They are improving. You know, black people are cut like it. You know, I mean, Jan van Riebeck, we really got more than dots. Show them a mirror. Here's your granny. Give me a land. Then we, that hot and dots will laugh at the mirror and say, they are nice. See my grandfather said, I'll show you others. Give me the land. But there's now a new modern slavery type of a thing. They built malls. We felt special because we are lazy. We didn't want to run the shops which were run by our fathers. Every shop in the township, the corner shop, Produce lawyers, you know, athletes, actors. In Atridgeville, where I'm coming from, you've got all this mix. All the mayors, 80% of mayors, the city of Swan, come from Atridgeville. They're produced by those shops. We've got dairy shops and all that. We've got barber shops, Cody Hostel. We no longer, because we are lazy, 
We just want to steal. We just want to loot. How about shoppers in Pakistan? Somebody look at the role. Wow, Baba Bout Swari. What's in a school which is a melek? How about a shame on us? We need to self correct and start boycotting this. You cannot buy from me. Next thing, what I'm back. You cannot date me. How can you go back to what I'm about to do? Because these people, Baba Mba Grebaland, they sell it to these undocumented foreigners in our townships. Instead of Baba Yale, like we are eating a quarter, it's part. We are eating that a lot. There's Potatoes come out as part. Why didn't these people grab land and Babiale Mazamban, then Basapla Mazamban from their own townships? We've got industrial firms, that is what I'm doing, where we'd say, municipality, give us this white 